Happy hump day, folks. This is PJ coming to you as usual in traffic and uh, as usual giving God thanks for life and health and all good things. Ah, so the schools that were featured in last night's airing of Schools Challenge Quiz were St. George's College, SDGC, and Woolmer's Aggie Quad Geese Girls High. I usually I'm not short of words when I do a commentary, but this one is proving to be very challenging in regards to what I have to say about what I witnessed in the staging. Of last night's series. Me can't laugh and me can't vex. Me just don't know what to do or say, guys. Now, when I tuned in at 6.30, the introduction would have me believe that it was, especially when they went to the George's team, it felt like an episode of Kids Say. Kids Say, that, that's what it reminded me of. It's like, it reminded me of primary school, or prep school. Six, six farm stop keep or something. That, that, George is more, me I ask you know. Six farm stop keep or for, at one point five farm because there was just looking at the age range and a particular lad or a little man. I, he looks like a toddler, and I'm gonna show you a snapshot. I'm not exaggerating, people. The, the toddler that I see. Yeah. Denmark what? Denmark Mackenzie. Incorrect. That's Frederick King of Denmark. So one of the first questions that I I sought to raise after watching the clip is, I, and I just noticed it. I didn't know that they made onesies in khaki. That it's readily available. Because me, I assume so. I'm going to assume that it was a khaki onesie that was being worn just now. But anyway. So let's talk about the good things. The good things from that match. I've dwelled enough on the negatives. Um, the the speed, the buzz around. You know, very intense. Very intense. I like the participation. Especially of the, the, the judges team. Um, the match itself ended on 20 St. George's College and 11 to Woolmer's Girls, which that, that no, that's unheard of. That's unheard of coming from Woolmer's Girls. But as we said, it's a green, green set. Very, very young, very young. Unlike what would usually go up. I don't know, is it a case where people are busy preparing for other exams? Why them don't have enough people to send um, on the team? Is it competing with other responsibilities? That's all I'm asking, guys. That's all I'm asking. I'm seeing it become more and more prevalent as the matches have been progressing in terms of the, the persons that they are using. Or is it a strategy to start these young ones from scratch so that by the next four or five years, there will be more, you know, they will, they will ready. They will ready. They will be more prepared. But anyway, guys, on that note, you know, have... A good rest of Wednesday and I'll see you all in the morning. Toodles.